Kind of nice weather to get out and go for a drive if you feel like getting out of the house for a while. Carlene, in the next few days, look gorgeous. Oh, you will not catch me at home next mm -hmm. few days. It's going to be so great. you got to be out. You have to be out and about because temperatures, Barbara Lee, we're going to talk about seasonal ones. And then next week, eh, we're going back to summer. So even though the calendar does say fall, we are talking about really hot temperatures next week. Not just that, but also dry as well as gusty at times. Let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures before we get to those details. And our first one was a gorgeous shot taken earlier today, Shell Beach in La Jolla. And this one was snapped by Don. Lots of sunshine out there, clear skies. And it was looking pretty good. Also, we have a sea lion, a little cutie, just sunbathing. And Ernie went ahead and took this picture, sent it in. Our next one, Kevin got it right at the perfect moment with that sunset and this was taken in City Heights and our last picture for tonight all I can say is namaste so this was a woman who was uh, doing yoga and this was at Sunset Cliffs and Scott captured this picture beautifully around sunset time if you want to go ahead and send in your pictures whether at kfmb.com and also um, keep in mind that you can uh, go to our website actually CBS 8 dot com slash weather picks and then also you can text weather to 858-571-8888 and that was another way you can submit your pictures as well let's go ahead and take a look at that view looking south from palomar mountain state park it is looking beautiful out there and you can also see that waxing gibbous moon Current temperature of 71 degrees for downtown. Also, we have winds out of the south at 6 miles per hour. Relative humidity is at 75%. So we're starting to see a reduction right along the coast and portions of the western valleys, and that will be the case going into the overnight hours, potentially also getting dense at times. Reduction in visibility down to 4 miles for Miramar, as well as 8 miles for Kearney Mesa, 6 right now for Carlsbad. Overnight lows will be mainly into the 60s, but we are seeing some 50s that are popping up as well. 59 degrees for Poway, 57 for Ramona, 51 degrees overnight low for Campo, and 73 for Borrego Springs. Across the nation we go, we have a series of uh, low pressure systems that are moving from the Great Lakes. Also seeing another one. That is post-tropical beta, as I mentioned. We are now into the Greek alphabet for the Atlantic hurricane season. And so that is attached to a storm system producing a lot of shower activity that's moving in across the southeast and lifting towards the northeast. Dry conditions still out west, and that is with the concern of fire danger. Still with a red flag warning, we're seeing that tonight across portions of Wyoming as well as Utah and Colorado, and air quality is still pure, poor Excuse me, around Kern County. Taking a look at your set up in the atmosphere, we do have some drier conditions that are going to roll in. Also, a really big ridge of high pressure that's going to take over in our forecast. That's going to bring in some much warmer temperatures, hot by next week, and not just hot, but we are also talking about that elevated fire concern. So afternoon humidities will be around 10 to 15 percent by Monday. Gusty winds picking up, gusts into about the 20s, even potentially 40s for the mountains and the foothills. That will be on Sunday. Temperatures will be much warmer by next week as we hit those 80s, well above seasonal average averages about 15 uh, degrees, even potentially up to 20. We're talking about 90s, upper 90s for the inland valleys, as well as 90s for the mountains and low 100s for the desert.